Hello everyone, I'm Kim and Aline and today is Tuesday, May 14th. You are now watching Open, a program that brings the Bronx and New York City straight to you. Don't forget to stay connected with us via social media at BronxNet TV. In the United States, approximately 240,000 cases of breast cancer are diagnosed in women each year, and about 42,000 women die from breast cancer annually. RadNet, an organization with a focus on radiology, will be hosting a mammogram party to encourage people to undergo breast cancer screenings. Jeanette Santos, the sales manager of the organization, joins me to discuss the event. Jeanette, thank you so much for joining me. Hi, thank you for having us. Now, um, can you just tell us a little bit about RadNet and how the organization got the idea for the Mammogram event? Absolutely. So in honor of Mother's Day, we wanted to put together an event to gauge and gather groups of women to get screened for their mammogram. And we wanted to create an event that also provided a fun experience. Um, RadNet has selected two of our Lenox Hill radiology locations to host our mammogram parties. Uh, in these neighborhoods, they do have higher percentage of women who have not received their annual mammogram. So our goal is to create an opportunity to increase awareness about the importance of breast cancer screenings and early detection. Now, I love the name. Let me just start off by saying that because I think when it comes to our health, um, anything that has to do with like maybe going to the doctors, there is always this anxiety um, and there's a lot of pressure. And so I feel like just the name alone helps put people at ease. You know, can you go into further expanding on how the mammogram event differs from regular mammogram screening events? Absolutely. So our mammogram event differs from regular mammogram screening events because it's a true celebration. We party, we promote a safe space where women are able to be comfortable. So as you just mentioned and touched on, it's not the, the easiest experience for a lot of women. We wanna lighten the mood and make breast screenings less intimidated. And we also offer self-care surprises, so make sure you come. Now, mammograms are described as the most important exam patients could take all year. Can you just, you know, highlight the importance of this exam in a woman's health, especially for women in the Bronx? Sure. So breast cancer remains the second leading cause of cancer-related death among young, young women. So the survival rate for breast cancer is 99% when cancer is detected early and in stage one. So promoting mammograms in the Black and Hispanic community is key. It can empower women to take control of their health all while addressing health care disparities. So we want to educate our community. Sometimes there are things that our community are not privy to. So we want to put that information out there. Now, where in the Bronx is the event being held? Our Bronx event is going to be at our Fordham location, and that address is 350 East Fordham Road. The entrance is on Marion Avenue, and we do have a Harlem event as well, 215 East one, West 125th Street. Now, this is really exciting. The event has garnered support from WNBA star Cheryl Swoops. Can you just talk about how that collaboration began and why it's so just amazing to see somebody with that much influence be a part of an event like this? Sure. So our PR team made the initial introduction. Um, Cheryl has such a personal connection to cancer, specifically breast cancer, having lost a few people in her family to the disease. And her story was so touching, it had our team in tears. But the fact is, her story is so many other women of color's story as well. Um, since then, Cheryl has been announced as our spokesperson with RadNet, and she will aid in the mission of emphasizing the need of more convenient um, crucial screenings around our areas. Um, she's going to work closely with us towards the movement of great health equity, and she's going to collaborate on efforts to combat health disparities. So it's amazing to have someone um, of Cheryl's stature come in and you're able to relate to her because you have those same kind of stories. So, you know, we're hoping that our mammogram event will encourage people to attend and um, encourage people to get screened. And I understand that you mentioned that it is something that kind of affects women of color, um, possibly a little bit more uniquely compared to other women. Can you just expand on that point? Sure. I mean, when it comes to breast cancer in our community, it's 
it's like black women are nearly 40% more likely to die from breast cancer. And breast cancer is the leading cause of cancer deaths in Hispanic women. So early detection is key. I cannot stress that enough. It really is. And most people, like I said, they don't know, they aren't aware of the information that's out there. So that's our goal, to get out there and educate the community and let them know. Now, what is the difference between screening and diagnostic imaging? Um, screenings are considered baseline. It's preventative care. So they're performed annually and they're performed on women who don't present any symptoms, any signs of breast cancer. Um, when it comes to diagnostic, that means that there's a problem present. Problems including lumps, pain, bruising, discharge, just to name a few. So screening is baseline. You have no issues. You're just being preventative. You're going annually to check yourself out. And diagnostic is, hey, there's a problem present, so I need to do further evaluation. And to expand on that, when should women begin looking into this? I know oftentimes a lot of young people think that they don't have to worry about their health um, as often. You know, when should, what is the age people should begin looking into this? So the age is typically 40. You should begin to do your baseline mammograms. However, if you do have a family history, if you are a few years shy to 40, a little bit younger, and there is a problem present, meaning diagnostic, then we want you to go see your doctor, get a referral, and come see us for your diagnostic mammogram. But the typical baseline age is 40 years old if there's no problems present. Now, this is pretty exciting. RadNet uses artificial intelligence in its imaging. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about that, and why should people refrain from getting traditional or older versions of mammograms? Um, absolutely. So we, we want everyone to get screened. But we really want to promote our artificial intelligence, which is EBCD, Enhanced Breast Cancer Detection. It is the only solution of its kind, and it is artificial intelligence that helps the radiology detect lesions or things that the traditional eye may miss. Um, combined with exceptional high-quality mammogram systems, our EBCD artificial intelligence, it optimizes breast cancer screenings, giving a lot of women greater confidence in their results. Um, RadNet has increased cancer detection by over 22% and identified over 300 cancers that might have otherwise been missed from a human read. So it's basically just aiding the radiologist. It's like triple set of eyes. I mean, who wouldn't want that? Um, currently, RadNet performs 1.4 million screening mammograms annually, and um, we, we're we just really excited that we have this tool. Um, again, we want all people to get screened, but why not get screened in confidence? Now, that's amazing, and it's always great to hear that artificial intelligence is being used for something positive. Uh, so thank you for sharing that with us. Where can people find out more about RadNet? Um, so we are, we're located everywhere. We're, we're 89 affiliated centers in New York, um, in all five boroughs, Long Island and Westchester, and we have 30 centers in New Jersey. Um, you can find us at radnet.com. LennoxHillRadiology.com. We're also all over social media. You can find us um, on Instagram, uh, RadNet. You can find us on Instagram with Lennox underhill, underscore hill underscore radiology. All right. Well, Shanette, I want to so thank Please make sure you follow us. <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having us and, and giving us the opportunity to spread awareness. Of course. If you or someone you know may want to attend this screening, please keep in mind that the Mammogram Party is happening on Saturday, May 18th from 9 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. at 350 East Fordham Road. Don't go away. We'll be back with more open after this.